Hello there, welcome to this exclusive Facebook Live event from the heart of London's West End. We're all here outside uh, Her Majesty's Theatre, right in the centre of London, because tonight, hello, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Phantom of the Opera. So exciting. They've all got tickets. They're all going inside. Look, can you see, can you see Mr. Phantom? Phantom, can we have a wave? There he is. He's over there. Um, don't worry, you're going to get a good view from exactly where you are as well. But can you believe it's been three decades since the Phantom first sang to Christine on stage in this very theatre? That's 30 years since we first heard songs like Music of the Night and Phantom of the Opera. And you know what? They knew they had a major hit on their hands because on opening night, there was a standing ovation that lasted 10 minutes long. Can you believe it? 10 minutes long, it's amazing. Now, since that opening night, the Phantom of the Opera has broken records, loads of them. In fact, every single theater record possible. Look, it's won over 70 major theater awards. It's been translated into 15 different languages, played to over 140 million people in 35 countries, 166 cities, and it's grossed more than $6 billion globally. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. There, are, there are people here who have seen the show many times. 66 times. 66 times. 30 times here. I'm not surprised. It is a phenomenal show. Now, you might think you're going to miss out because you were right where you are, but do not worry. I need you to do me a special favour. You're watching on uh, Time Out London's Facebook page or on the Phantom of the Opera's Facebook page right now. Well, you have the best seat in the house. What you need to do is set your alarm right now. I need you to set your alarm for 10 past time, UK time, or 10 past five, Eastern Standard Time. That's when something magical is going to happen. I'm not going to give too much away, but live inside that theatre, we will be broadcasting a special gala performance, which will be featuring some of the current cast members, as well as some very special guests. When I say very special, I mean very, very special. So come on, get your, get your clocks out, set your alarm, do what you have to do. 10 past 10 UK time, 10 past 5 Eastern Standard Time. Okay, got that? Brilliant. Pleased that we can move on from there. In the meantime, get involved. Leave your messages, comment below. Maybe you want to guess what the surprises are. We like love hearts. We like smiley faces. We like likes a lot. And spread the word, please. Tell any diehard Phantom fan you know that this is happening. Now, can I just say, as well as all these super fans right here, I have someone very special standing over there. Please, welcome. Come over here. This is Sierra Borges. <gasps> Hi. 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 You look so glamorous. Thank you so much. I love your red coat. Well, I can't quite compare to you. You're very glitzy and glamorous, but that's because it's a special night for you. It's a very special night. Um, this is an extraordinary. Hi. Um, and to everybody, hi. Can I just say, Sierra, there are people here watching from Denmark, Mexico. Oh, my God. Hi. I wish I could say hi in all the languages. Yeah. Bonjour. I could do that now. Do We've got France covered. That's yeah, us we sorted. Have France. We have Ohio gozaimasu. I love my Japanese friends. Now, you have played Christine a lot. This is true. Yes. Do you, do you count? Have you got like how many times you've played it? The, uh, well, Paris is going to be my fifth time, um, but I have a 10 year history with the show. So 10 years ago is when I was doing the Las Vegas production with Andrew and with Jilly and with Hal. So uh, I have a 10 year history, but that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't compare to the 30 years that people have with this show. And it's extraordinary. It's really cool. Do you remember when you first saw the show? Well, my first experience of Phantom was the cast album, and I would always listen to it in the car with my parents because I, I couldn't afford to go see the show when I was when I was little. Um, and then when I, I think the first time that I saw it was Her Majesty's Theater when I was in um, school in 2002. So it wasn't until 2002. Yeah. And what were your memories of it? What What did you think the first time? Well, I thought it was magical. All the tricks that were happening of going through the mirror and um, things like that. But it's really for me the music 
And this set, I mean, we talk about the set and how the proscenium is all, it's so beautiful. And I feel like for anybody who gets to come to it tonight and then continue on, just keep finding all the details and all the things that's like, you can see it a gajillion times because there's so much to, to find in it, so. Okay, now obviously you play Christine. This is a controversial question. Who's your favorite Phantom? Oh, I thought you were gonna ask me Phantom Morale. I was like, huh. Oh, well, that's my next question. <laughs> well, uh, I have, the, I guess, the longest history with Ramin Karamlu. <laughs> Um, so I have a very long history with him having done Love Never Dies as well. But I can't pick a favorite Phantom because each of them has been so extraordinary. And the most recent time I played it was with Norm Lewis, um, who, come on, Norm Lewis! <laughs> who is extraordinary and um, became the first African-American to play the role on Broadway. So that was really cool to be able to do with him. Okay, and you set up your own question, yeah, Phantom I, or Raoul? I never choose. I don't think Christine knows, and I think you can change it nightly, but you have two men, one that's representing passion and music and this connection that is uh, hard to even put into words, and then you have the man who hasn't done anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Do you feel for him? Don't you do feel for him. People love to hate him because they like to root for the underdog. But he's he's he he was just born beautiful and has a lot of money. <laughs> but we do get to sing the most beautiful um, "All I Ask of You," so that's nice. Well, look, Sierra, it's been it's been lovely seeing Woo! Sierra. Thank you. For watch. Thank you for talking to everyone on Facebook as well. Hi everyone, enjoy. This is going to be an awesome evening. There's a lot of really delicious things coming up. There are indeed. Look, Sierra, thank you so much. My Sierra Bogues. Oh, Lovely. Now, I'm going to bring in someone now who's quite important. This man is like one of the bosses, okay, at Cameron McIntosh. Nick Allen, come on in here. You're the, you're the MD, aren't you? I am, yes, I'm the MD of Cameron McIntosh's group, but I was the original executive producer for Phantom of the Opera 30 years ago tonight. Oh, right, okay, so right, tell me how that first night went, because it, it sounded incredible. It was amazing. I just remember standing on this very spot being absolutely terrified. We'd had Princess Diana the night before for a big charity night, which was very, very spectacular. Phantom was, at the time, probably the most complicated show technically we've ever done, and still probably is. And there was an awful lot that could have gone wrong, but nothing did. It was an amazing first night. Yeah. I mean, the best thing about it was, I guess, we knew it was likely to be successful because it had Andrew's name attached and Cameron's name yeah. and, of course, Michael Crawford. But it wasn't a great big mega hit pre-built in. In those days, you didn't have those huge advances, so it really needed to be a special first night, and it was. I mean, the audience reaction, the notice the next morning, the party up at the old Limelight Club at the top of Shaftesbury Avenue, which I think is a, is a bar now, everything about it just gelled. It was an extraordinary, extraordinary evening. What is it about Phantom that makes it such a huge success? It's probably one of the best and oldest stories ever told of Beauty and the Beast. And it's certainly one of Andrew's finest scores, I think. I mean, it's a wonderfully, wonderfully lush romantic tale, beautifully told with great, great music. And, of course, the wonderful late, great Maria Bjornsson sets were as big and extravagant as had ever been seen on the West End stage and certainly bigger than this theatre had ever had inside it before. It's incredible that this theatre has played host to Phantom of the Opera for 30 years. 30 years, I know, it's incredible, isn't it? And in New York in, two, in 18 months' time, it will be 30 years there. This is a show that's destined to break records forever, I think. I mean, already we argue with Lion King as to which is the highest grossing piece of live entertainment ever. We still think it's Phantom. It's grossed over $6 billion worldwide, which is a so, huge number. Nick, can I just ask, for people watching here, can you give us any clues to what's in store later? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, all I would say is tune into Facebook Live at 10 past 10 and there's some really, really terrific surprises. I've been down here this afternoon watching the rehearsals. There's some real treats in there. I'm not going to give anything away. You won't be disappointed. Nick Allett, thank you so thank much. You. That's 10 past 10 UK time and 10 past 5 Eastern Standard Time. I think we should talk to some fans. Right, Catherine, come here. Catherine has seen this how many times? 30 times will be tonight. So when did you first come and watch it? Uh, well, I didn't get to see it until my 18th birthday, but I was given the album when I was seven, when it first came out, and I just adored it from then. Um, I had to wait a long time to see it for the first time, but I squeaked in my 29th performance two weeks ago so that it could be 30 for tonight. Well, that's amazing. Where have you come from? Wiltshire tonight. Wiltshire, yeah. okay. Well, look, enjoy it tonight. We've got people from all around the world. Germany right here. Yeah, it's my mother's birthday, so... 
Yeah. <laughs> she the tickets as a present. Yeah. What a lovely birthday present for you as well. And over here, look, this lady here, how many times have you seen it? I saw 66 times. 66 times? Do you know every single word? <laughs> yes. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. And have you seen it in Japan as well? Of course. <laughs> Which is better, the Japanese version or the original? Original, of course. Wow. <laughs> right. They're doing karaoke. <laughs> well, this is Leslie. Leslie's a super fan too. How many times have you seen it, Leslie? I've seen it ten here and twice in New York. And um, where have you come from today? I come from Windsor. Okay. And um, Andrew Lloyd Webber cast my cousin as good staff in the original Love Never Dies with Sierra. That's right, the sequel. Yeah, so I've got connections. Okay, so can I ask, here we go as well here, let me ask you, what is it you love about Phantom of the Opera? Well, the music and, and the storyline, and my name is Christine. Chris Christine there. Everyone loves the music. And where are you from? I've come from Thailand. Oh, right, okay. Can anyone beat Thailand? <laughs> That's quite far, isn't it? What is it that you love about Phantom of the Opera? Uh, well, Phantom of the Opera is the musical that made me want to pursue theatre as a career, so um, it's music of, the, uh, music of the Night was probably my favourite thing about it. All right. Well, look, you're all in for an amazing treat tonight. Do you know what? I think, I think it might be time for some facts Phantom facts. What do you think about this? I have got quite a few. Just let me get my list right here. Um, because no gala performance would be complete without a few uh, musical facts. Do you know that this is the longest running show in Broadway and also the second longest running West End musical here in the UK after Les Miserables? Did you also know that Phantom of the Opera has taken more than any movie or stage play at any box office, right? That's including Titanic, Avatar, Star Wars. This one has grossed over $6 billion so far. Did you know that it takes two hours for Phantom to put his makeup on and it takes him 30 minutes to take it off? Girls, imagine if it took half an hour to take your makeup off. Come on. The process is quite long and arduous. They start with some moisturizer and then they do a close shave then they put the prosthetics on, which set quite quickly. And then after that, they have two wigs, two radio microphones, and two contact lenses. One is white, and one is a little bit cloudy. So it's all a process. Now, we're going to have another fact here quickly for you. Michael Crawford, the original Phantom. Did anyone see Michael Crawford as the Phantom? Woo! You saw Michael Crawford. What was he like? Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, nearly, nearly 30 years ago, yes. With Sarah Brightman as well. Oh, so you saw the original cast? The original cast, yeah. Fantastic. Well, look, the original <laughs> Phantom, Michael Crawford, he played the role for three and a half years, 1,300 performances. <laughs> but this lady... <laughs> you? This lady is a legend here. Gillian Lynn, superstar choreographer. How are you? I'm exhausted. <laughs> That's because you've been working all yeah, day. We've been, we've been at it. We've been making new things and all that. Well, it, I tell you what, this woman has been on stage working hard all day long. Yes, it's true. But so have they. Yeah. They're wonderful. So you worked on this, the original show as well, didn't you? I was. I, I was one of the ones that created it. So how, how does it work? When does the choreography come in? Is it something that you work with Andrew and Cameron? No, you... <laughs> That's it. I love the fact you wear the trousers. <laughs> um, no, you, you, you listen to the score. He played it to me very early on. I fell in love with it and he said, take it away. So it's up to you then to interpret the um, songs and interpret the text and, you know, get at it, but you... I know. Well, you've done a marvellous job. And I know that you're busy as well. There's another show that you're bringing to the West End too. But they are wonderful. Well, one little show called Cats, you mean. Yeah. There's, she's such a busy lady. So are you. And you're beautiful too. Oh, she's nice, isn't she? We've got, we've got someone else here right now as well. Someone. Let me let, me let you go and stand up. Are you going to do a swap? Are you going to come in? Oh, look, here we go. This man you might recognise, this is John Owen Jones. Uh, hello. You, hello there. 
How are you? I'm very good, very excited. Hey, you've played the Phantom quite a few times. Uh, yeah, I've done it more than anyone else in the West End, so nearly 2,000 performances. So. See, can I just say that high five there? Yes, that is, uh, that is pretty much. good. I know, I want to high five a Phantom, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and how did you feel when you first got the role? Oh, um, it's an iconic thing to do, you know. It's a dream of any actor to perform in the West End and to perform wearing the mask in the most iconic show in the most iconic role was a dream come true. So, as you can imagine, I was, you know, nervous, excited and extremely happy. Yeah. And um, who is your favourite, Christine? Oh, that's very... Uh, politically, um, they've all been my favourites, okay. yeah. And now, just between us? Uh, Michael Ball. Oh, I know, he's good. He's, he's right here no, as he well. Is, yeah. Michael, come on in. Like nice to see you. Nice to see you too. You got a cheer. I do. I didn't get a cheer. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Can, can we you have cheer a cheer for John? For John, John? <laughs> All right, enough. Not too much. <laughs> Detecting a slight bit of rivalry. Did you two ever appear on stage together? We have. We've done concerts. Never, never in this or never actually in a, mm. in a production but uh, John and I have sung together in concerts and yeah, stuff yeah yeah and, and um, he's taught me a lot yeah. I wouldn't tell it to his face but he's t <laughs> I've learnt a lot from Michael oh. mostly what not to do what not to yeah. do exactly <laughs> I was going to say Yes, obviously tonight is a very special night. We have people around the world watching on Facebook right, Live really. now. Nice um, what, is, what is in store for them later on? <sighs> well, there are some surprises. It's the regular show, of course, and then after that, all bets are off. There may be some surprises happening on stage. You may see us at some point. You may not. Who knows? You'll have to tune in to see. Yeah. You'll have to tune in. It, it is going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, and it, ch it changed. We didn't have long to rehearse. So we came in and, and it and it, 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 it didn't grew. Didn't to rehearse what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, uh, what nothing, are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. No, nothing. No, nothing. It grew and grew, yeah. and it's 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 fun. It's fun, and also it's moving, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's everything that the show is. Yeah, it is really special to be here and be part of this, and yeah. I think everyone watching tonight is in for a very memorable evening. I should just remind everyone the times. It's ten past ten UK time, ten past five Eastern Standard Time. Do oh. not miss it. Set the clocks. That's set what the I'm clock. saying. Set, yeah. set your set your Time yeah, well, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. They're what yeah. what is your yeah. favourite song in Phantom? Oh, gosh. I don't think there are many better love songs than All I Ask of You. I mean, it's a beautiful duet. Uh, music of the Night is stunning. I just wish I could hit that last high floaty note like he can. Um, it's I, unreal. It's, oh, thank you very much. You're very, very kind. Is, it, is this something that can happen, like, no? Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 I there can't do one, that. There is one act, this is a true story, I won't say who it is, but you know who it is, who used to do, if he'd have an off night, he'd come to the end and he'd go, help me make the music of the night. <laughs> and everyone would go, it's so quiet and pure, it's almost like you can't hear it. True story. It was me. It was me. No, it wasn't. No, me. it wasn't. No, me. it wasn't me. No. I have to say, my favourite song on the show was "Wishing You Were Somehow Here oh, Again." Okay. Yeah, I love that, and I think that should uh, hopefully make a reappearance during the special finale we have planned. So yeah. We were just talking a moment ago about the the makeup routine for a Phantom. Does it really take two hours to put it all on? Uh, it can do, depending on what time you get into the theatre. I know in my experience, trains have been late, and we've done it in 35 minutes. Um, but then most of it's just flapping off. So, um, yeah, it usually takes up to two hours to get it really nice, you know, yeah. Um, and actually taking it off takes longer sometimes, isn't it? It's the, I found that with Woman in White. It's the whole ungluing. Yeah, yeah, otherwise, you, yeah, otherwise your skin falls apart yeah. if you're not careful, yeah. Okay, here is something now. Has the mask ever fallen off mid-performance? Yes, as has the wig, the makeup, all sorts of things have gone wrong. The worst thing that ever happened to me was doing uh, Music of the Night with my flies down. So, um, so I always check. Yeah, I, mean, I always check my flies now before I go on stage. My favourite event in that sort of line was when uh, Christine at the end whipped off the Phantom's mask to reveal him, and, and his cufflink got caught in her wig. And so, as he was revealed, her wig got ripped off, and she's there in the bald cap with the wires for the microphone. She looked worse than the Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> She just had to rip it off his arm and stick it back on her head. Yeah. I didn't laugh at all. No. I was really, no, I really you professional. Were very professional yeah. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. Oh, that would have been quite a hard one to kind of like, yeah, I'd imagine to keep a straight face during. But the thing is, what Cameron and Andrew have created here is extraordinary. And they, they said that they had no idea that it was going to be such a success. But 
when you see it for the first time, you just know it's incredible. So, it's yeah, 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 it's absolutely yeah. magical. And what what Cameron and Andrew have very cleverly done is they've never taken their eye off the ball. You're never going to better um, Maria Bjornsson's design ever. I mean, it, it, it is exquisite, uh, and that's because it's rooted in the original Victorian theatrical design. But what they have done, they've updated the sound. They keep their eye on the show, so it is as fresh for an audience coming today as it was when it first opened. And that's why it's a success. It's never allowed to get tired yeah, and stale. Yeah. It's, it, and it's a quality production always. Yeah, and also they rehearse it constantly. It's never allowed to get stale or boring. The actors are always encouraged to find new stuff and make it exciting for themselves, which in turn makes it exciting for the audience. And you couple that with the story, the music, the set design, the costumes, the lighting. It's a spectacular, thrilling and magical experience yeah. night after night. Oh, well, look, we're not even being paid yeah. to say no. this. What is going on? I, <laughs> I think there'll be a little party afterwards tonight, won't there? There uh, may be the odd. You may, maybe then we'll be paid in kind. I'll buy you a pint. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Cameron will buy you yes, a pint. Yes, OK, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look, thank you so much, That's John, Michael. Michael. Have a wonderful night. Let's hear it for <laughs> them. <laughs> this is it. You're joining us right now live outside this amazing theatre. Look at that, Her Majesty's Theatre here in the heart of London's West End. There's a lot of celebrity guests, as you can imagine. Look who I've got here, Annika Rice. Hello, nice Hi, to see you. Very lovely to see you. Um, fan of Phantom, I guess. Well, I was there at the very first dress rehearsal. I think I've seen it. I, my poor children, not my poor children, obviously they're delighted, but um, they've seen it dozens of times. Yeah, we've got a, quite a family connection with it, so we have seen it many, many times. You you got into the original dress rehearsal. Now, yeah. how did you flag that? Were you looking for a clue? Yeah, no, I was sort of married to someone at Cameron oh, <laughs> Tosh, it does help. But also, I've always said to Cameron that um, all I want is my bucket list is for him to allow me to take part in the ma masquerade sequence and just stand on the stairs and just pretend to be in it, you know, as one of the dummies. And he hasn't even let me do that. I'm quite Could have gutted. done it tonight for the special gala performance, I'm couldn't he? I'm quite gutted that I still haven't got onto the stage, but it is a great show. And as I heard Michael talking, you know, it's just, it goes on and on, and the, the quality is still there, and the, all the production values, it's amazing. What is it that you think, when you first saw it, kind of really caught your attention? Well, it's, it's a pretty good score. I think Andrew really pulled out all the stops with the score. Um, it's visually fantastic, the, the set design, you know, the costumes. I mean, it really just, it, I mean, it sounds such a cliche, but it really just does tick all the boxes. And there's sort of not a weak link, because often you see a show and there's, there's a bit that you go, oh, I don't like this bit. But there isn't in Phantom. No, I know. It's absolutely incredible. Well, look, I hope you have a wonderful night. Who are you with this evening? Oh, I'm with all my kids who've seen it 5,000 million times. And here's Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, look who it is, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. How Lovely do you do? to see you. Um, Thank you. We are live right now to the world. Um, there are people watching from all around the world, super fans of Phantom of the Opera. And um, what would you like to say on your special 30th anniversary? Well, you know, we're obviously very, very, very pleased. It's uh, something quite extraordinary. I, I, I always thought when I did Cats that it would be impossible to top Cats, and then, then we did. And I think the wonderful thing about it is it's one of those very, very rare moments when every element of a production comes together. It's not just the music, it's, it's everything. It's the scenery, it's the costumes, it's the lighting. The whole thing the, you know, came together in one production the like of which really I don't think has ever been equaled. I mean, not certainly not in my career. Yeah. It is fantastic. And what's special tonight for the 30th anniversary? The tickets have been sold at a special price of £30 here tonight uh, for a charity that's very close to your heart. Well, yes, it's music and education, which, of course, is something very dear to yeah. my heart. And that's sort of one of the reasons I'm involved with School of Rock, of course. Yeah. Uh, and anyway, I, I think it'll be a great evening. I can't really quite reveal what we're going to do, but we are up to something, I can promise you. Uh, you mentioned School of Rock there. That's coming really soon, isn't it? It's coming very soon, yes. We're in rehearsals now, final rehearsals. We open in November, and uh, we're already open on Broadway. We've just played, played a year there now. 
and I see one of the greatest men at the entire show business oh. in front of me, Sir Cliff Richard. Come and say hello, Cliff. Cliff Richard. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Oh, yeah. People may, may forget that Cliff sang All I Ask of You as a duet with Sarah Brightman. Oh, well, I've Did never you? forgotten it. You may not. You know, it, I mean, the chance to sing an Andrew Lloyd Webber song came my way. I mean, fantastic. And we had a, we had a top five hit with it. Yeah. And you sang it. Well, you sang it. It was the year that the, the stage show came out. The musical was released, yeah. wasn't it? He sent somebody around with a keyboard, with a keyboard, and and I heard it and I thought, oh my God, if someone's going to have a hit with this, I want it to be me. So I did it with Sarah. Yeah. yeah. It was a great record. I mean, it's. Uh, it was very. It, nice. Yeah, it was lovely, lovely. Um, how many times have you seen the Phantom of the Opera? This will be my third. Okay. And what is it for you that is so magical about it? Well, just about everything. Everybody knows the storyline for a star, so you kind of follow it very easily. I think the songs are wonderful, and of course, I, I can't help but say that I wish I was in it. <laughs> oh, hello. Still can. Oh. <laughs> Who would you want to play? Oh, of course, Raoul. Yeah. Raoul. Is this, can we sort this out? He'd be a very good Raoul. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm kind of like in the middle here doing some kind of setup. I'll be your agent. So, um, can we do this? You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll know. Okay, well, look, I hope you have a okay. lovely night. Can you let us in? To any secrets for this evening? Well, as I said, we've got something planned, but we can't yeah. tell you quite what. Do Not you, quite. Do you, do you know what's going on? No, but if he's got something planned, it'll be good. Yes, it absolutely will. I hope you have a wonderful Thank evening. You. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, that's Lord Andrew Oidler, my friend, Sir Cliff Richard. Enjoy your night. This is. Thank you so much. This is. I'm over here. <laughs> So showbiz here. Okay, so obviously everyone is very excited that the creator of the Phantom of the Opera, the man in charge of the most incredible score ever, is here. Uh, we were hoping that we could find Sir Cameron McIntosh, um, and he is he is just coming in just a few minutes, so we're just going to hang on and bring him to you. What an exciting evening this is. This is the 30th gala performance of the Phantom of the Opera. You're watching live right now on Facebook on uh, Time Out London or the Phantom of the Opera official Facebook page, and make sure you set your reminder because at 10 past 10 UK time, 10 past 5 Eastern Standard Time, that is when something incredible will happen if you are a die hard phantom fan you do not want to miss it sadly it looks like we're going to miss Cameron McIntosh at the moment he's really busy getting organized for tonight but as all the VIP guests lucky ticket holders and all those uh, fans of Phantom of the Opera make their way inside that theater it's time now I guess for me to bid you farewell have a lovely evening do not move a muscle remember 10 past 10 UK time 10 past 10 and 10 past 5 Eastern uh, Standard Time is when something special will happen enjoy it